Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and today I want to tell you guys how to become a successful YouTube reviewer with under 25 subscribers. So let me tell you how I did it. I started my channel about a year ago, and now, it's, now it already has 220 subscribers within my first year. Now that is very very slow, that's about one subscriber every other day, or, or uh, more like one subscriber every week. And even though that's slow, you gotta remember that as your channel grows, you're going to start getting the growth more fast. Meaning, like for example, when you have one subscriber, getting your next subscriber is gonna probably take a month. Versus if you have 100 subscribers, getting your next subscriber is probably just gonna be a couple days, or maybe today. The trick to getting more subscribers is not uploading more videos, but rather uploading a helpful video. If you have one helpful video that you uploaded in a month, a month ago, that video will have more views and give you more growth than uploading one video that's not as helpful every single day. That is why you should prioritize the quality over video quality. When someone says your video has to be good quality, they don't mean it has to be HD, and if they do mean it has to be HD, that's wrong. The requirement for a video is not that it should be HD, but rather it should be, it should have good content. If you're explaining someone to someone, to YouTube, or you're talking about something that people need to know, then that'll be more helpful. Even if your video is 144p, then people are going to want to watch your video just because it has some helpful content in it, not because it's 1080p. If you have some terrible video that's 4K, no one's gonna watch it. You gotta make sure that the quality of what you're talking about in your videos is gonna get you subscribers. Don't care about how good quality your camera is, that doesn't really matter. So now on to reviewing. How do you get free products to review on your YouTube channel? Well, it's simple. Don't review them on your YouTube channel. Now, that may sound a little weird, but that's how you do it. If you only have 25 subscribers and under, you're not going to get anyone wanting to send you a free product to review on your YouTube channel. So this is what I did. I did not review it on my channel. I reviewed it on Amazon. Every product that you purchased off Amazon, go ahead and review it. That makes you a whole ton of reviews. And after that, a company who was looking for an Amazon reviewer will see that you posted a whole bunch of reviews and they'll want to send a product to you to review on Amazon. Whether that's some kind of refund system or whatever, it's up to you to decide if you want to take it or not. They'll send you an email, as long as you provide your email on your Amazon profile, they'll send you an email, you'll review it on Amazon, and then you have a free product that you can also review on your YouTube channel. Now, one thing that's very important though if you're going to do this is, if someone says, hey, can you review my comb and your technology channel, do not accept that offer. You want to make sure that your Amazon page and your YouTube page both only review the same things that you want to be talking about so that you'll only get the uh, products that you want to see. So you won't get cluttered with like Bluetooth speaker reviews even though you have nothing to do with Bluetooth speakers. So that's the simple way to get products. I'll leave some websites linked down below where you can start out getting free products and stuff or discounted products. And the main thing though is keep on making videos. Make however many videos you possibly can as long as they're good quality and you will grow pretty soon. I hope this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful or a thumbs down if not. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.